Hello there, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy. I am back to do a wine review for you on this Wine Wednesday, or maybe I should say a redo of a previous wine review for this wine, Bella Voda from Macedonia. So I did this review of this wine last night and my earpiece died, so thereby I could not get the noise reduction feature so that you can actually hear me give my review. But here we are redoing a video. So this is a wine, vintage is 2016, and it's made from indigenous grapes, 50% Vranic and 50% Flavic. So for those who are new, thumbs up, highly recommend, three quarters. I would drink this wine, maybe keep bottles on hand, halfway, not so much for me, but thumbs down, get the wine out of here. Now, if you saw the previous video, you know I already like this wine, but I wanted to go through and give you a clear, again, a clear presentation. So let's get this poured in a glass. So now this is day two. So it'll probably be very interesting what the wine is going to taste like after opening it, opening the wine last night. So get a look at that color. I mean, that color is just gorgeous, isn't it? Nice, dark purple. Purple hues around the rim, but nice, nice deep purple on the color. So very, very rich on the color. And that fruit, I can smell the fruit from here without even taking it completely, you know, sticking my nose completely in the glass. Now this, again, I didn't purchase this in a store, but if you can find it in a store, I recommend you go ahead and get it. You already know where I'm going with this, right? But I recommend you go and get it. But so now, the nose, you get that subtle spice, oh, from the wood, aged in French oak, I believe about 12 months. Oh, wow. And my research, the vines are about 35 years old. So you see this name across the top here? Tigvish, so you get that. Tigvish, well, that is a wine growing or grape making area, which they produce quite a few different wines in the area. So it's well known for its wine, especially its red. They also do white wines in Macedonia as well. Maybe I get my hands on some of that and give a review of those. But today is going to be the Bella Voda 2016 from Bella Voda Vineyard. Now for the Ritz. You know me. Red, white, acidity must exist. So definitely the acidity exists in this wine. I love that. But it's very full. What is the alcohol coming at this? 14.5%. So it's very full, but medium at the same time. So it's not over the top. But it's just it's a richness in fruit is what you get. But not fruity. Nice and dry. About medium tannins. But smooth like. Okay. Now for the taste. Wow, that flavor, it just overtakes your mouth. Again, a nice fruity richness. I think this one, I feel it though, this one is very well balanced on its flavor and on its components. It's fruit versus its acidity, the alcohol. You won't even think that it's 14.5% alcohol when you taste it. You know, the tannins, I think everything is very well balanced, especially on my palate. You know, I really enjoy this. It has, you know, flavors of. I get a little, there's something in the background. Let me do a little taste. It's definitely a long finish. But, so I get like blackberries, plum. There's a little richness on the back that I, I just can't really pick up. Maybe like a dark cherry coming on there. Mm. So, just to tell you what I think. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up. No, I really enjoyed this wine. Again, if you saw this last night, you know I liked it. But thumbs up on this wine. Double thumbs up. You know, it's making some great wines coming out of Macedonia, especially the reds. They also do Pinot Noirs, and you may find some cab blends, you know, with some of the local grapes. So if you can find this in your stores, I recommend giving it a try. Bella Voda Vineyards is the brand. And it can, you can purchase it or find more about it by imported by European sellers out of North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina. So it's European sellers. I'll put that inside the information so you can find that out. But thumbs up. Give it a try if you can find it. I enjoy it. I'm going to drink it. You know, when I visit my restaurant here, I always make sure I buy a bottle or two. One to drink, one to sit on, and maybe share with friends. So to Wisconsin Wine Guy saying, as always, let your palate be the guide when selecting your next wine. And I'll see you next time. Bye.